Hi everyone, let us now operate fractions. When we operate fractions, we always need the enough and correct understanding on operations of integers, because in one way or another, we are going to return to those concepts. Let's try to talk about the simplified versions of items 1, 2, and 3 here. So for items 1, 2, and 3, they are all expressed in terms of fractions. Even if number 2 and number 4 contains integers, we are, we are also going to write them in the form of a fraction. But wait, let's start with number 1. Number 1 here is we have negative 5 halves minus the negative of 2 fifths. My hint here is before we could apply any other things that we, we could do here, the first thing we need to do is to make sure that the two double negatives here will be changed to plus. And that is actually under the double negative property. This would mean that we can rewrite this as negative 5 halves. By double negative property, the two negative signs will become plus. You have plus 2 fifths. Now, this is what happens when we apply the double negative property here. Now, for this processes here, for this item here, you could apply many different processes. I'm also going to teach you one technique that you could do later. But first, here, our fractions are dissimilar fractions. Dissimilar in the sense that their denominators are not the same. If in case we're in our denominators are not the same, we cannot just say, uh, we can just add directly. You might say my answer, sir, is negative 7 or negative 3 or for the numerator, etc., etc. Because you need to make sure first that your dissimilar fractions will become similar. And I believe some of you already have ideas on how, what to do with that. What we need to do here is to come up with the LCD or the longer term for LCD is also known as the LCM or the least common multiple of the denominators. As for 2 and 5, their least common denominator is 10. So we could try here to make sure that both of these fractions have denominators of 10. But it's not enough for us to say that the numerator is still 5 here in the second terms. Numerator is also 2. This is since we already changed the denominators into the LCD of 10. And the process of changing the denominators to, to that value of 10 was also or is also to be applied for the numerator. My point here is this. Our first term, the denominator of the first term is 2. We change it to 10. By that, we are actually multiplying here. Uh, we multiplied rather 5 to 2 to become 10. And that same factor, which is 5, is also to be multiplied for the numerator. So 5 times 5, you will get 25. If you don't like that process, you can also do this. 10 divided by 2. Why divide? Because it's on the denominator. Again, 10 divided by 2, 5 times numerator. Why times numerator? Because it's actually considered to be a number whole with that is divided by 2. Again, let me repeat it. 10 divided by 2 is 5 times 5, you will get 25. For the other term, the, the, the factor to be multiplied is not anymore 5, but instead it's 2 because 5 times 2 is 10. The same value should be multiplied to the numerator to get 4. Or you could do the same process earlier. 10 divided by 5 is 2 times 2, you will get 4. Now that we have the same denominators, we can just combine them and create a fraction copying the same denominator. And by this, we can just take away the numerator, the operation, and the signs for the numerator here. Again, all other things aside from the denominator must be placed in the numerator. So you have here negative 25 plus 4. 
Okay, again, minus 25, and you have here plus 4. Now, do not be confused with the proper use of MDAS because it's not negative 29. Okay, don't make that mistake. The result here is when negative 25 is added by 4, you have negative 25 na utang, and you will pay 4 pesos. You are left with 21 negative, still utang, over 10. We have rules already established in our module and even the previous video, and I'm going to repeat those rules as well. Number one, if your answer is in the form of a fraction, stay as fraction. Do not give me an answer in decimal notation, even if it will terminate, because our point here is to be useful, for it to be useful when you reach algebra. Again, if the answer is fraction, stay as fraction. Number two, if your answer is an improper fraction just like this, do not give or do not convert it anymore to a mixed number. Improper fractions are already accepted as it is. And number three, always consider the lowest term or the simplest form of a fraction. Since we don't have any other factor that we could cancel out for the numerator and the denominator, this is already our final answer. The other method I have mentioned earlier is called the butterfly method. This is actually just a technique. Okay, It's a technique. We have the butterfly technique, the butterfly method, okay? This is a technique oftentimes used when adding or subtracting fractions. The butterfly method here will use this. Let me copy this one here. You may use this because this is a good technique, but I will also prepare, if I still, have, still do have time, I will prepare later on on the reasons behind this method, okay? So again, same process. We could just convert it, this by double negative property first. So you will still end up with negative 5 over 2. And then you have here plus 2 fifths, just like what happened here. Okay. The butterfly method allows us to do this. It looks like wings of a butterfly. So you are going to have this and then this area here. Okay. This is the first coverage. That means we're going to multiply that. So 5 times 5, you will get here 25. But don't forget, the negative sign is still here. Use copy the operation plus 2 times 2, 4. Okay, again, 5 times 5, 25. 2 times 2, 4. Then you copy the signs, minus and plus. And for the denominator, we multiply the uh, denominators, 2 times 5, you have here 10. Again, this is the butterfly method. Multiply here, multiply there, place the, the results, copy the, the operation, copy the sign. And for denominator, multiply the denominators. 2 times 5, you have 10. And then we are going to repeat the same process here. Our result will become negative 21 over 10, same as earlier. This is a very good method. But of course, you should know the reasons behind that. I'm going probably, if I do have time, provide another video explaining the butterfly method. This is only for addition or even subtraction of fractions. Okay? Let's proceed to number two. In number two, we are given here with a fraction, 6 thirteenths, and then to be divided by negative 12. The negative 12 here is an integer. But since we are on fractions, we can express that integer as a form of a fraction. Any integer, 1, 10, negative 5, 1 million, could be expressed as, an, uh, as a fraction with denominator 1. So again, this could become a negative 12 over 1 just to make it in a form of fractions for, so that we could answer this later a little bit easier. Since this is a division of fraction, there is also another method that you could use. This method is also known as the KCF method. Okay, KCF method which means we are going to keep, change, and flip the terms. Again, keep, change, and flip the terms. This is possible for divisions of fractions. Don't worry. 
like the butterfly method earlier, if I still if I do if I still have time, I'm going to provide also another video explaining the reasons behind this method. But this is the method to be applied here since the division of fractions. So when you say keep, keep the first term or keep the dividend. Keep as it is, do not change it. Okay. Keep. That's for K. Change instead of division, we can change the operation into multiplication. Why? Because it's much easier for us to, to have multiplication than division per explanation behind the processes. Okay. So that's skip the first term, change the operation to multiplication, and flip. What do we mean by flip? Flip this divisor. When you say flip, give its equivalent reciprocal. So instead of writing it as negative 12 or even, even negative 12 over 1 as a fraction, as an integer as, integer as a fraction, we could change it to its reciprocal 1 over negative 12. This is the keep, change, flip method. Again, keep the first term, change the operation to the multiplication, and flip the last term. Once you're done with that, instead of division, you can just simply multiply the fractions. And when you say multiply fractions, multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. For multiplication and even division of fractions, we don't necessarily need to locate LC or look for LCD. LC, uh, looking for LCDs is a unique concern for addition and subtraction of fractions. But here, if it's a multiplication, right after we change it, the operation, no need to come up with an LCD, simply multiply them. You will get 6 times 1, 6, 13 times negative 12. You have there negative 156. Okay, now this is again a fraction, no need to give the equivalent decimal values. And then since this is already a proper fraction, so you cannot change it either to mix, but still do not give me the mix if ever it's an improper fraction. And finally, it's lowest term. The lowest term can be solved by dividing the denominator and denominator by two. So you will get here three, okay? Because that's three times two. And then negative 156 is actually negative 78 times two. We are going to do this because our third rule is make sure that the fractions are in its simplest form. So you have here its next, uh, the next form, you have 3 over negative 78. Okay. But still, we can still divide it by 3. Okay. Let me move this a little bit far to here, item number 3. So this is actually 3 times 1 because 78 can be expressed as negative 3 times, okay, or you could change the negative here inside or outside, it's up to you. We have 26 because 3 times 26 is 78. Let me check. Yeah, it's 78. Once we're done with that, we have this. And finally, our result could be expressed as a 1 over negative 20. 26. Sorry for that. Okay. To which I, I, said, I mentioned before can be written where the negative sign is in the middle or at the top. They All of these three uh, are correct and they do the, mean the same thing. Can this. Now look at what is our process here. We're just simplifying uh, uh, longer because from here, you can even divide this by 6 times 1, and you have here at the bottom, okay? The bottom expression is actually also a product of 6, and that is actually 6, or negative 6 times 26. So that when you cancel this out, just by one step, you will get a result, which is 1 over negative 26, similar to this. So basically, those are our results. Depending on the length of your uh, process of getting the simplest form of the lowest terms, nevertheless, our goal is to make sure that they are in lowest terms or simplest, uh, simplest form or in lowest terms.
If you don't like this longer period of simplifying, I'm going to teach you another method or technique. It is by using the cancellation law of multiplication. Going back for this example here, let me copy this. We can avoid the longer process of these steps here by considering the factors already of our fractions. And I'm, I'm talking about the factor here of 6 and 12. Because 6 divided by 12 is 1 half. Or there are two 6 for uh, um, 12. That's why when you cancel that out, we use cancellation law. And cancellation law is only for multiplication. So 6 divided by 12, you left here with 1. And 12 will become 2 because there are two 6 there because that's 6 plus 6 or 2 times 6 rather. And the same thing. And then after you're done with that, since 13 and 1 can't be canceled out, proceed immediately to the easiest form of multiplication. 1 times 1, 1. Two, uh, 13 times negative 2, negative 26. So this is now your answer similar to this and that. I'm just showing you this to you uh, because I'm also telling you, you could have your own step or method as long as they follow correct mathematical computation, uh, computations or processes. When I say correct mathematical processes, huh? when I will say 2 plus 3 over 2, there's no such thing as cancellation law here. Because the cancellation law for its complete name is the cancellation law for multiplication. When you say multiplication, the terms in the numerator and the denominators are already this, uh, divided or I mean, separated by multiplication. Just like this, 6 times 1, 13 times negative 12. But here, 2 plus 3, this is addition. So there's no cancellation law for, multi for addition, only for multiplication. So do not make, make sure that you do not do the same mistake as here. Okay, so the answer for number two is again one over negative 26 or any of these forms where the negative sign is placed in the middle or on the numerator still acceptable. The point here is for number two, since it's division of fractions, we use the keep change flip method to get to make the operation um, multiplication and proceed with the process of multiplicate, multiplication or multiplying uh, fractions. As for number 3, again, as we all know, negative 4 can be expressed as negative 4 over 1. And from this, you will have negative 4 over 1 plus negative 7 over 3. Now, you can use the LCD here or since it is the operation is addition or even subtraction, you can use here the butterfly method. Again, I repeat, the butterfly method is only for addition or subtraction of um, fractions. But in number one, again, we use first the double negative property for us, for our problem to be easier like this. Here, let's do the same thing, the butterfly method. Again, it uses the product of this and product of that for the numerator. It looks like a butterfly. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. Copy the operation plus 1 times negative 7 is negative 7. Over the denominator, multiply this 1 times 3, 3. Okay, so the answer here negative 12 plus negative 7 is negative 19 because that's negative 12 of borrowed money and then another borrowed money of 7. So the total is you have a 19 borrowed money, that's why it's negative 19 over 3. And since we cannot simplify this anymore, again, no need for decimal values, no need for mixed numbers or mixed fraction. This is already our final answer. In number three, we use the butterfly method immediately. If you would like to see how it's done with the processes of LCD, definitely you could do it like this. One and three, its LCD is also three here plus three on the other side. Three divided by one is three times negative four, that's why you have negative 12. For the second term, three divided by three is one times negative seven, 
that's why you have negative seven. And then you have the same denominators. You have, and then you copy the all other concerns. And that's why you have negative 12 plus negative seven, which will return to this form and later on give us the same result. So this is the content for the pre-break session of the operations on fractions with methods that you may use or even your own method as long as, again, they follow correct mathematical processes. So please review on this and use this for your future reference. Goodbye, everyone.